So here's a funny story. Again, let's get back on the crazy mod. So I'm out in LA scouting out houses because I'm about to move to LA. And I'm looking around, I'm on vacation, um, looking for a place to live. And uh, while I was out there, um, me and Kels, <sighs> Kels called me over, I came over to his house. We end up making mushroom tea. The one thing I say to him is don't invite anyone over because I get weird if I'm tripping and there's a bunch of random people there. She's like, cool. First thing he fucking does is invite a house party over. So now I'm tripping my ass off. Kels invites a fucking house party over. But this house party is different than most house parties. It's filled with all of my favorite porn stars. <laughs> Okay, so I'm tripping my ass off and all my favorite porn stars are running around the house and shit is really weird We ended up having an amazing night and why running wide-eyed down the boulevard came from that night um, Fast forward so I'm leaving the next morning and that night while I was tripping I decided to book myself not a plane ticket, but a train ticket thinking I'm gonna take this train from LA to Minnesota and like I'm thinking I've never really rode a train, I've just jumped in boxcars. <laughs> I've never really bought the ticket, took the seat. I just like run as fast as I can, jump on a boxcar. So I'm like, okay, this should be fun. So I'm on there for two days and I get from LA to Sacramento. This train is moving fucking this slow. I'm like, dude, this is going to take me a month to get home in Minnesota. <laughs> so I finally, like four days into this train ride, I'm in Portland now. <laughs> Kels calls me, he goes, yo, I'm at the AVN Awards. I don't even know how I forgot to tell you, but whatever you're doing, get here right now. I need my partner. I was like, oh, fuck. So I literally, I'm not kidding, pull the thing. I'm like, yo, sir, I need to get the fuck off this train. Jump off the train, catch a, uh, a flight to Vegas, land in Vegas. And then this is where it all starts. And this is a legendary fucking story that's been told many times over now. The room number is 1028 in the Hard Rock Hotel. It's been said, so I'm not fucking anything up. I show up to the most insane weekend of my life. And what me and Kels decide to do is buy a VHS camcorder and film the entire fucking movie. And I'm talking like me, Kels, shitload of drugs, and 40 porn stars in a hotel room, okay? We filmed every single thing. And then on the last night, went out into the middle of the desert, buried it in the desert, put down the coordinates, wrote a note, left it with it. It's in the desert, we have the coordinates. After we go, it'll be out there. The craziest like cult film you ever see in your life. And then under the sink in 1028 is like a novel written by us. And it's still there, because on this tour, we actually went, and every time we're in Vegas now, we stay in 1028. And under the fucking sink is a novel of this Fucking like the botry, just crazy shit. Like those things are at the bottom of your mind is thinking. And I will absolutely never, ever forget that weekend. And Kels was performing. Here's the other thing. Kels was the performer at the AVN Awards. So he's like the hottest shit in town. Like that's what every porn star wants to hang out with. So here I am just like, hey guys, what's up? And I learned probably everything I know that weekend. And now we stay in 1028 all the time. And our last 1028 story is also fucked up from this too. It doesn't end, bro. It literally doesn't end. It wasn't, no, it wasn't actually that crazy to meet these girls. It was crazy to meet the girl who was my favorite porn star since I was just a wee little boy. <laughs> and guess what happened? I ended up dating that girl for a year and a half. It was good. <laughs> she moved in with me for a year. Like, so yo, yeah, I brought home my favorite porn star from the awards, I guess. I should have added that. God, she, you, if you guys know me, you know who it is because you all saw me date her for a year, but don't date porn stars. Because <laughs> it just isn't going to work. Man, she's either gonna have to quit porn or you're gonna start hating porn. <laughs> Shit, I sound like I got a porn addiction now. <laughs> My last ex thought I did too, fuck. Yeah, don't date porn stars though, guys. Um, Kels taught me that too. He got kind of mad at me for dating her. Even though he knew that I really liked her. I did really like her. She's fucking cool, she taught me a lot of things. <laughs> But now I'm like a goddamn fucking gladiator in this shit, so I ain't got nothing to worry about. Next question. 